Tag sales and flea markets are often the best places to hunt for unique items, whether a piece to complete a set you already have, or something special that stands on its own. Joan Sternthal collects for a living and always has a keen eye for the hottest finds. Joan, I want you to tell us all about this great stuff you, you've brought over to show us. Well, right here, I, I found this set of Candlewick glass, which is a pattern of elegant depression glass done in the 1930s, and I thought it is amazing for entertaining because, first of all, the glass is so brilliant and elegant, actually. And you can see that the, there's one common theme about this glass is that there's always these little glass beads around the glass or at some point on the glass, and that's distinct for Candlewick. Mm -hmm. um, so this, this bowl is probably done between the 1930s and 40s, and it would be perfect for salad or fruit salad or even potato chips or, you know, dip or... Um, and then I found a great cake plate, and you could see it's typical Candlewick because, first of all, the beading that goes right around the edge, as well as look at the beautiful three beadings that makes this a pedestal cake plate. And that's repeated in this goblet. Exactly. Now, this is a typical, what they call the water goblet with an inverted bell shape. Uh -huh. um, exactly. <laughs> it dings, even. Yeah. <laughs> but it's... Um, even though it was used for water then, it's beautiful for red wines or white wines or even mixed drinks. It's really, really pretty. I, I know that you often um, find pieces one at a time, and I think that's part of the attraction well, that's, of collecting. Exactly. That's, I mean, even though we do have a set here, I think part of the fun of it and part of a lot of people's reality is not going somewhere and buying a complete set of Candlewick or, or China. It's finding piece by piece because then it makes it exciting. If you have, sometimes if you have, you know, everything at once, it takes away the, the mystique of, oh, I found one goblet or I found another dessert plate. And, and it becomes almost a game for people that they really enjoy looking for things and they build sets and collections and they're proud of it at the yeah. end. Okay, what else did you bring along? Let me move this to the side. And I, I know you've got tons of treasures, so I'm yeah, going to ask I you found to a great selection of vases and Nick you know women could never have enough flowers in a house exactly right you all, all that's a tip to the guys keep exactly. buying flowers all you men remember that there are never enough flowers anyway I mean that's true you do never have enough flowers and flowers are so beautiful this piece here is called Manhattan glass and it's an art deco pattern from the 1930s actually 1936 and very typical of Manhattan are these concentric circles mm -hmm. Candlewick is elegant, and this is just depression glass. Yeah. If you actually look at the glass, you can see this is a rougher glass. Yeah. You can see the difference. Yeah. This is much, there's, it's, there's a lot more clarity here. Mm -hmm. um, this is another very oh, interesting vase. Uh, this is called Tea Room, and it's also depression glass from the 1930s. It's very deco and very unusual because a lot of the pieces, there, there weren't a lot of pieces made in it. It comes in clear, it comes in pink and green as well. This is brilliant. This, yeah. is, this is gorgeous. Oh, this is great. This is this is, like one of your favorites? Yeah, this is definitely my favorite. I was gonna <laughs> <laughs> this is called jadeite, and this is probably the most collectible of anything around now. Most people collect it as dinnerware, so they have plates and cups and saucers and mugs, but it's very, very unusual to find a vase, and especially a vase of this size. And look at the details on the glass. Mm -hmm. On every level of the vase, there is detail on the on the base um, over here there's detail almost like going leaves. right up yeah. and and that's quite difficult to do that's a lot of of work to do in the molding of it and it's it's when you, the light that's coming down i mean it, it looks so much like a piece of jade exactly it's just wonderful. exactly great detail and it's quite heavy there's weight to it too it is. which yeah. you like in old pieces because newer vases are so light so you really feel weight in them. On a lighter side, you brought along these wonderful kind of whimsical pieces. Right. I had to bring these because they're so they funny. They so, make you smile. Yeah. This is a little family of ducks. And on the bottom, they're actually measure things. On the bottom, you have a, quart, a quarter, a quarter cup. cup, you know, a third of a cup, keeps going. Oh, that's great. <laughs> whimsical things like this people love because everyone has stressful days. You want to come home and just see something that's yeah. going to be... You know, make you smile. This one's really funny. It's done in ceramic. You can see the age on it because of the crackling. Yep. And these little spoons are your measuring spoons. I love that. Now, and it's like a little plant. As, <laughs> as a collector, would yes. you use this? I would use it. Yeah, I use I would everything. Too. I agree. I, I love telling. I mean, why? In my opinion, I mean, these aren't museum pieces. I mean, you know, why not use them? You're buying them to enjoy them and. 
hopefully you'll find them again if yeah. something happens to them. And yeah, I would use them. And people I sell things to, I love to say, use them every day and yeah. enjoy them. Linens. Linens. Yeah, and these, I want you to talk about these because they're gorgeous. Yeah, these are great. They're, they're actually quite collectible now. And um, the colors on them are so this vibrant. One, I want to do this one. These are great. This is a, this is a complete this is, set, and this is a nice luncheon service with coasters, exactly. luncheon are, napkins, and then this looks like a, a very small tablecloth yeah. with this brilliant fruit pattern. You you can imagine having friends over for drinks, and just it really will make you know it will make. I would the, do uh, them with this with the uh, the candle wick. I mean, this would be a great little yeah. little dessert service. Exactly. I think they're stunning. But you have to mix and match, and it makes it fun and exciting. You bet. And, yeah. Well, we almost forgot this. This is penny clock. Yeah, penny this. mat. It's a table mat. This would be typically placed in the center of a table. I mean, I use them at home and I sometimes use them on the floor because they're so vibrant. Oh, yeah. The reason they're called penny mats is because of these little circles. They're pennies. And there's complete hand stitching. Everything is hand done. Yeah, and that's also, I mean, the fact that it's done by hand to me is just a testament to, uh, to the craftsmanship. Exactly, yeah. because how many things today do you find by hand? This is American, probably from the 1930s. And these borders are called cat's tongues. And you see this very typically in Quebec, and they call that in Quebec long du chat, which is just a cat's tongue because it actually looks like a little cat's tongue. And I think they're a bit under, not undervalued, but not as sought after as quilts. And yeah. I have a feeling this could be an area where people will really get buying them. Yeah. This, is a, this is definitely <laughs> This is your a tip. insider information tip. So. Absolutely. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Yeah. So, so I guess Sunday stuff, this is exactly what we'll do. We'll go out, continue our hunting. It's always and, uh, fun to hunt. Make sure you let me know the next time we're going out because we're going to, I want to go with you again and look and see and purchase. Right and early. You. you bet. <laughs> Good stuff. Thanks, thanks okay, for joining thank us. Thank you. It was great.